Hello and welcome to our 12th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial we're just going to learn how to create our very own packages. So basically what a package is, is it is just a bundle of items or a bundle of assets. So an asset is pretty much a material or a sound or something like that and if we bundle a ton of them together, or well not a ton, just a bunch of them together then we get a package. So let's just go ahead and open up our content browser and you'll see we have some pre-built packages here but we can also make our very own packages so for example I might create a package called Joe's Floor Materials which will contain some materials probably for floor surfaces and they're probably made by someone called Joe aka probably me so if we go ahead and click new down here this is actually to create a new asset not a new package so let's just click that and the first piece of information it asks you for is the package you want this to be in so we could choose a an existing package from this drop down or if we type in a new name it'll create the package for us so if I just type in Joe's materials I'm not going to say Joe's floor materials because I don't want to restrict myself to floors at this point and then let's go down to name here and this is the name of our new asset so I want this asset to be a material and I want it to be the first material in my package so I'm going to call it for that reason material underscore 01 which I know is an extremely imaginative name now we go to factory down here and this is pretty much just the type of asset so in our case we want this to be a material so we have all this set let's just go ahead and click OK and you'll see it actually opens up this thing here and this is a material editor so we have different material attributes and different material expressions over here but don't worry too much about this we're not actually going to be learning about the material editor in this tutorial that's going to be probably in a few tutorials time maybe even next tutorial so just close this for now I don't really want to worry about that and you'll see what we actually have is we have Joe's materials down here and inside Joe's materials we have the asset material underscore 01 now if you want to rename this at any time we can right click we can click move or rename and you can just move or rename move or rename and you can just change the name here so new name if you want to then change it to material 01 without the underscore because you decided you hate underscores for some obscene reason then you can do that click OK and there you go it's changed also, if you want to open up the material editor to edit this material, material, to edit this material, you can just double click it, and you'll see it open back up just like we had it before. But as I said, we're not going to really work with the material editor in this tutorial. So we have that. We have one asset. One. Wow, I can't speak today. We have one asset in our package so far. If we want to add a new one, we can either just click new down here and make sure it's in our Joe's materials package, and then just do whatever, just like we did before. Or we can go ahead, right click, and we can choose new something up here. So, for example, new material. And we can call it material 02. And again, it's probably going to open up the material editor. Here we go, let's close that out. And we'll see we now have two assets, which are both materials, inside our package. So, whoa, hold your horses there, Joe. We're not quite done yet. Now, I forgot to mention that you have to save your packages, otherwise, you lose all your data. Just like if you opened a Word document and typed up a whole essay and then forgot to save it for some reason you lose all your work. So we just need to go ahead and save this package. So we just right click your pass passage, oh man, right click your package, click save, and now you just choose your location to save it in, so you may as well just go ahead and save it here. On your desktop, that's probably not a smart place to save it, just save it somewhere you remember. And you'll see the asterisk is now gone and our assets, the asterisk next to them, has now gone. Now whenever you have an asterisk it means you have unsaved changes, so you may want to save your package whenever you have that. Or you may want to discard those changes and close the program whenever you have it, depending on the desired results. So anyway, I'm going to go back to the main video now, and I'll probably just sign off. So that's the end of this tutorial. I pretty much just want to show you how you can make packages and add assets into those packages. And in the next tutorial, we'll probably be doing a bit of material editing and actually starting to create our own material. So that's the end of this tutorial, and have a nice day.